Oh boy. What's up everyone, it's Goose, and today I hurt my knee. Today we're gonna look at a pedal that I use as my main distortion for a few months actually, and that's the Friedman BOD. BOD is a two channel solid state preamp slash overdrive pedal. This bottom channel is the blue channel and that's kind of a BE channel in a sense. And the green channel up above actually has more gain and has been likened to that of like an HBE, which is essentially a BE with more gain. And so because we have these two channels, Let's compare them. I'm going to be comparing the blue channel, which is like a BE, to the BE channel of my Friedman Runt. And for the higher gain channel at top, we're going to actually compare it to the model in the Quad Cortex, which is based on an HBE. So when I was still streaming on Twitch, I was actually using this mainly because it has these two channels that were effectively a metal and a, a rock channel. And it just sounded cool when people asked me what I was getting from my tones, I could just say a Friedman. It's only really when I got into the high-end modelers like the Quad Cortex or the FM9 that I stopped using this. As well as when I got my real actual Friedman run. And the newer Friedman IRX just came out, which is essentially the preamp portion of a Friedman BE, but with a uh, more digital, like, I guess, power section. This is still less than half the price of that at $200. So we're going to dust it off and see if it still holds up in 2024. Before we move on, if you enjoy nerding out about guitar gear like I do, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So unlike my other video comparisons, we're not gonna use the same settings between these two units. I'll be trying to dial them in as close as I can, but another reason is with the same settings, they sound way too different. There's no way that these pots are in any way the same kind of values corresponding to these. So the settings will be on screen during the comparisons. My run will be running into the Sur Reactive Load IR. And because the BEOD is essentially a preamp pedal, this will actually also be running into the power section of the Friedman and also into the Reactive Load IR. That will be running into the Quad Cortex, which I'll be running a Bogner 412 IR from York Audio. The guitar I'll be using is my Kiesel Osiris with Demarzio Illuminator in the bridge. As always, we'll start with some single notes and some simple chords and then getting into the actual riffs. For the rock portion, for the first part, we're comparing the BE channel, and the first two riffs of that will actually not have a boost, but the last portion after that will have a boost. And the overdrive pedal will be the SD1. So yeah, let's get into comparing the mid-gain tones between the Friedman Runt and the BEOD. <laughs>
So my thoughts are the BOD is just a little darker up top. The runt definitely has a more present high end. And the treble on the runt is also only set to four actually compared to being more close to like one o'clock on the dial here on the BOD. However, despite the runt being kind of brighter, I didn't feel like the BOD was any less harsh when you got to the higher notes. And so even though the runt has kind of more presence up top, meaning you can just, it's just more tilted towards the treble, I actually don't feel like it's any harsher than this up top. And it actually might be slightly smoother overall. In fact, even though the BOD is a little bit darker, if I had gone any higher on the treble, it would actually be uncomfortable to my ears if I were going further up the fretboard. If you look at the knobs right here, I'm actually having them run at about 11 to 10 o'clock here, and that's way lower than when I'm running them on the runt. That's where I felt like the settings actually matched as well. So yeah, there's a little bit more lower mids overall, like a bigger shelf of lower mids on this unit if you were to match the settings with the runt. The distortion character, however, between these two is remarkably similar. They actually sound really close with the gain matched to each other. The only thing that differs on the BOD when you're running through like individual notes in a chord, so an arpeggiated chord, uh, it's not quite as clear on the BOD as it is on the runt. The runt just has this note separation that this thing cannot match. And the runt is also just a tad more responsive, um, only a bit, but it is a little bit noticeable when you're going back and forth between the two. This one's just a little bit more mushy under the fingers. All right, so let's move on to the higher gain green channel on the BEOD. We'll be comparing it to the HBE model on the Quad Cortex. And the Quad Cortex won't be using any of the additional settings, so like the fat switch or the C45. It's just going to be running the HBE with none of those switches on. And again, I'll be running the Boss SD1 into both as the overdrive just to tighten up the low end. We're using the same Bogner IR, and yeah, let's start the comparison.
so similar to the previous comparison, the BEOD is just a slight bit darker up top compared to the Quad Cortex. I think the biggest difference between these two units are kind of where the mids sit and as well as the character of the distortion. With a lot of models in the Quad Cortex, I actually kind of feel like there's just a slight scoop compared to most other modelers I've tried. And if we were to actually go into the amp model, push the mids, it would actually just start sounding boxy, even though the overall kind of tone coming out of this is slightly scooped. So as a result, I actually kind of prefer the mids on the BEOD here. The paired with the distortion character, I think actually is a little bit closer on this unit to my actual Friedman Runt than the HBE on the Quad Cortex. And I think the differences might just be because technically speaking, this isn't a HBE, it's just kind of likened to that. But also I think there's just a bit more highs in a different way than the runt in the quad cortex that makes the distortion feel a little bit more raspy up top. However, despite that, I actually think the quad cortex does kind of something similar to the runt and that higher notes just don't get as harsh as they do on the BOD. Just to me, it seems like when you get up top on the fretboard, this, despite being darker, starts getting harsher quicker than the quad cortex. I don't know why that is. The feeling of both of these units are actually quite similar. They're just slightly less responsive than the actual tube amp. Does that mean that this $200 pedal matches a quad cortex? Kind of yes, but kind of no. So I think the BEOD is actually a really good sounding preamp. The fact that it can get the distortion character that close to the Friedman Runt is actually really crazy for $200. But it is just that, it is just a preamp. So it's a good solution if you have like a combo amp or like a quilter or something like that, that can power an actual cab because this can get you that Friedman tone into your existing setup as long as you already have something that can power a cabinet. Likewise, if you're running one of these into a modeler, you might want to find like a clean amp model to run this into because the biggest limitation of the BOD is this present style. Even though I have it maxed out right now and I did it for the demos as well, uh, it just isn't as bright as the Runt or the Quad Cortex. And since most modelers already have a Friedman model in it, it might just not be worth it to add that Friedman sound to a modeler that already has it. But going back to combo amps, I think this is the best solution for someone who already has like a Marshall combo or something and just wants to get that Friedman hot rodded tone into their existing setup. $200 you're getting a Friedman tone. To me, it's about just 10 to 15% shy of the real thing, but that's actually really close for the price. And it just might be enough for your existing rig so that you wouldn't need the real thing. Except for me, I bought the real thing eventually. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Later. Buy the real thing.